Greetings, Curio Quotient Explorers. Today, we're embarking on a linguistic odyssey, immersing ourselves in the diverse and colorful world of English pidgin languages. Unlike dialects, which develop within specific communities, pidgins emerge as bridges between speakers of different languages, blending elements from various tongues into something entirely unique. If you missed last week's video about dialects, be sure to check it out for a deeper understanding of language variation. Join us as we traverse continents and cultures delving deep into the vibrant tapestry of English pidgin. Our journey commences in the bustling streets of West Africa, where English pidgin thrives as a dynamic and versatile means of communication. Picture yourself navigating through a lively market, where vendors energetically engage in pidgin conversations. In this vibrant atmosphere, phrases like sabi, know or understand, and wetten, what, are commonplace, reflecting the seamless fusion of English and local languages. Next, our voyage takes us to the sun-kissed shores of the Caribbean, where patois infuses everyday conversations with a rhythmic melody. Envision yourself swaying to the beats of reggae music, surrounded by friends exchanging greetings like Wa Guan, what's going on, and Mi De Ya, I'm here. Patois encapsulates the essence of island life, blending English with African, Spanish, and French influences. As we journey onwards, we find ourselves amidst the enchanting landscapes of the Pacific, where Tok Pizin flourishes as a testament to cultural diversity. Picture a gathering of locals engaged in Tok Tok, conversation, sharing tales that weave together tradition and modernity. Within this vibrant community, expressions like Dispel a book belong you, this book belongs to you, embody the spirit of Tok Pizin, a language that transcends linguistic divides. Our exploration then leads us to the shores of the Indian Ocean, where Bazaar Malay thrives as a unique manifestation of English pidgin. Imagine a bustling market in Malaysia or Singapore, where traders from diverse backgrounds converge. In this vibrant setting, phrases like Kasi discount sikit, give a little discount, and Jalan Jalan, take a walk or go for a stroll, resonate through the air, reflecting the rich cultural tapestry of the region. Finally, our journey takes us to the shores of the South Pacific where Hiri Motu serves as a vital means of communication among the people of Papua New Guinea. Picture a bustling market by the coast, where fishermen and traders exchange goods and stories. In this lively environment, phrases like, Mi laikim dispela samting, I like this thing, and Yupala go long we, are you coming with us? Are commonly heard, reflecting the unique blend of English, Motu, and local dialects. As we traverse West Africa, the Caribbean, the Pacific, the Indian Ocean, and the South Pacific, we encounter the rich tapestry of English pidgin languages, each weaving together diverse linguistic threads into a vibrant mosaic of communication. Join us in celebrating the beauty of language and culture, and stay curious as we continue to explore the wonders of our world. Thank you for joining us on this linguistic odyssey. If you found our exploration of English pidgin languages enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts below. Until next time, keep exploring and expanding your curio quotient.